morning everyone welcome to ruthie's crafting corner how are you doing i hope you're doing very well this friday so i thought i would come on and give an update on my whips no finished projects just whips things i've been working on um a couple plans so um first off i should go ahead and say welcome to all the new friends that have joined the channel and decide to spend some time with me and everyone and thank you for all the returning ones so let's see I will start with the one I started the railway Tunisian tee it's like a t-shirt I decided to go with the premier let me get one the full scheme for you premier rodeo yarn and it is a four weight and it is 85% cotton, 15% polyester. Here is the color. Let's see. There you go. It is light blue. And 265 yards. So, I went ahead and caked a couple of these to start off. I was trying to decide if I wanted this yarn or another one. Oops, got my hook stuck in another yarn. Oh, no. There we go. So this is the Tunisian hook on a cable so that it can hold all the stitches. There's the, ah, sorry, there's the end. So here it is starting off. And um, I'm hoping that this yarn is uh, gonna be really a good choice. It seems like it will be very drapey I, I'm working on it and, you know, I didn't know if the, the yarn would split because it's like a twisted color, you know, together. So it, it's doing okay. I had a couple spots. I almost went with this one though. It is a clay tone color by Premier every day. This is, you can tell it's an older skein because it's, um, the Deborah Norville every day, which I've been a fan of for many years. But um, I almost went with this. Let me put it there so you can see. But I don't know. I thought I would try that one. It's all of this has been in my stash a while. I have made a couple things with this yarn though, and I really like it. So that's the plan. I mean, I started it and it's going okay. And um, we'll see, you know. That's only been like two days worth, so I hope to spend a little more time on that. My baby blanket, let's see. I'm in the middle of a row, unfortunately. I wish I would have done some this morning, but just got back from a walk, so I didn't really have time to start, finish the row, but I wish I could show you it stretched out better, but I can't. But anyhow, from where I was last time, let me show you. Here is the stitch marker right there. So I had done this much to here when you when I saw you last. So I have done from here to there. So that's a good bit, you know. So I'm happy with that. And um, the pattern actually called for a four weight, but my cousin wanted a, um, what was it? A knit pale yellow. So I, I could only find this one. So I'm probably going to have to use this whole skein for that blanket to be a nice size. And it is, let me grab another one. I got another one just in case. <laughs> it is the Bernat Baby Sport. Just as a reminder. And I will show you the pattern. Here it is. Let's see if I can bring it close up. Right there. Now, it's not a big baby blanket. I mean, you know, but I want to finish one whole skein anyway. And the scalloped edge is, um, you pick up your stitches, which I'm hoping I can do that. I'm just going to take my time and follow the directions, you know. But I thought, oh, I really like that. But I could always um, have crocheted it and then have best of both worlds and probably get done faster. But I'm going to try to do it. 
it's um, called a shell edging and it's three rows. So we will see. I think it'll be really nice. And um, let me grab something real quick. It's over here. So since my last video, the last video was probably two weeks ago. Anyhow, after that, I started doing um, a Scrappy Sunday project. And I decided to follow the lead from Ashley from Stitching Ain't Easy. And she and her family were doing this beautiful blanket. It's like, you know, it was a surprise family blanket. Some Her whole family got involved. Each one would pick a, um, you know, a, a, you know, one of her scrap yarn balls and it would be a surprise to her and all of us watching. Anyhow, so I did the heart shape, which is how she started her blanket. And I'm just choosing um, random scrap that I have. And hopefully I'll get more as I make more projects. Like I still wanna make so many things and I'll be able to have more scrap yarn to carry on. But here it is so far. So the first Sunday I did the heart with the white background. And this last Sunday I only did from the purple to the gold, it's a gold color. So these are scraps I've had. So, so it will be my Sunday project, just, you know, scrappy Sunday. And I'll work on that on Sundays. And then I'd like to start another scrappy Sunday using DK yarn, DK weight yarn, the three weight, because I have a lot of that. And I thought, well, if I only have like two skeins or whatever, and not enough to make a whole project, you know, I might be able to make like hand warmers or slippers or something, I'll have to see. But any of my leftovers, I would like to make a corner to corner scrappy Sunday blanket. So that's what I will start with this one and the DK weight scrappy Sunday. Those will be my scrappy Sunday projects. There you go. And let's see. When I was shopping for the pale yellow, cause I wanted to get extra of that in case I needed it for maybe a diaper cover or just accessories like that. Um, I was looking for some velvet yarn. It, it, actually, it was Mainstays velvet yarn. And um, I saw Angelia from the Crocheting House Mouse make this classic bunny. Let me see, let me get my notes. The classic crochet bunny, it's an Easter favorite, but it could be like a little gift for anybody. And it's by One Dog Wolf. So I'm gonna start that. <laughs> but I got, I found some of the yarn when I was shopping at different places looking for the pale yellow yarn. So this one is Mainstays Velvet Yarn. It's a six super bulky. And this color is what, multi, neutral multi. So there you go. See, it has the grays and some brown. Where is it brown? Kind of brownish, I got. That'll be a neat rabbit, you know? So I got two skeins. I got two skeins of each one I'm gonna show you. And I got a white and I can just see the pink little nose showing up so well on the white. I got two skeins of that and it's really soft and it is a toy. So why not buy this velvet yarn? And I was so blessed to have found it at one of the Walmarts cause I was just trying to go in my area. I couldn't even find it at Joann's online, the pale yellow, but so I got this, I could not resist this one. See how pretty that color is? Let me put it, I'm getting a glare from my window, I see. Let's see, there, maybe that's better. This color is, where is it? Metropolis Burgundy. So yes, guess who's gonna be making <laughs> the little bunny, the crochet bunny? me and I'm so excited. I can't wait. I want to start one 
this weekend. I can start one anyhow while I'm doing the baby blanket and the um, the Tunisian railway shirt. So I think that is about it that I have to share today. I'll probably have another video up and um, it is going to be what I call a nature scape. My husband and I went for a walk. It was, I think it was, it might have been this week. Early, you know, the beginning of the week, Monday or something. We were going out and I saw something on the, the you know, the landing, the, the grass area of the uh, retention pond I live by. And there's a conservation lot. So nobody, you know, it's all woods and everything. And I wasn't sure what this was. So there was a family of otters. So I got them and some cr sand hill cranes. So I'm going to share another video of that. It's just going to be my nature scape because I just love anything, you know, nature and, you know, anything outside. I'm all about that. Actually, it's such an inspiration, you know, hopefully in my future, the things that I want to, you know, once I go through the scraps is to buy yarn for certain projects pertaining to things that inspire me, whether it be the ocean or, you know, things like that, be more personal in the relationship of what I create, unless I have a project someone asked for. But anyhow, as I ramble, <laughs> I want to wish y'all all a happy weekend and have a, you know, a safe weekend and enjoy it. And I will chat soon. All right. Have a blessed day. Bye.